You're watching Carolina and Company Live. With your host, Cecil Chandler. Your source for fun entertainment and events. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It's a Thursday. So glad you're here with us today. And we got a lot to talk about, a lot of fun stuff coming up on the show today. Now, yesterday we were talking about help for kids, and uh, we gave you a wrong email address. Let's put it up right now, because if you'd like to volunteer a website, if you want to volunteer or send a, a donation, go to this website right here and find out more about it because they do need help all the time feeding so many kids every day all the way through the summer. So help for kids looking for your help today. All right, we got a lot of stuff coming up on the show today. I wanted to point that out first off. Uh, today we're going to talk about, let's see what we're going to talk about. The uh, Long Bay Symphony's got something coming up. Tommy from Coastline's here. And uh, we got a new show that comes on Saturday mornings on TV 15 about, it's called All About Homes. It's remodeling. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And the Carolina African American Heritage Foundation is getting ready for their Martin Luther King celebrations, all of that. So it's going to be a great show today. But right now, is it getting any warmer? Let's find out. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, I had a couple of people send me some emails, told me I needed a haircut. So, hey, I got a haircut. Yes, I did. Cutting Point Hair by Brandon Surfside. He does my hair. And, uh, and yesterday, that really helped me. It made me look a little better. But one of the uh, people here this morning told me it didn't look any better. So I said, whatever. You can't please everybody, can you? All right, let's find out a little bit about the day before we get started on the show. Today is Thursday, January 7th, and this is not going to take it any more day. Don't say anything else about my hair. I'm not going to take it anymore. And it's also Old Rock Day. So if you have some old rocks, just hang on to them. Let's go to birthdays. 1957, Katie Couric. She's 59 years old, the former Today co-host who became CBS News anchor and uh, a book on the best-selling list now. 1964, Nicholas Cage, 52 years old. Yes, he married Elvis's daughter one time. Academy Award uh, for Leaving Las Vegas, and he did Con Air, The Rock, National Treasure, Face Off, and Ghost Rider, just some of his movies. 1985, we've got Lewis Hamilton, 31, the Formula One champion, the first black in Formula One also, and now considered the best driver in that division. Today in history, it was 1967, the newlywed game premieres on ABC TV. And uh, 1992, Tom Seaver and Raleigh Fingers elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. All right, from the know-it-all department, if anybody knows this, just holler it out. Okay, you ready? Who is the winningest driver in NASCAR history? Who? Richard Petty. Who? Richard Petty. Richard Petty. You're right. Richard Petty. Re he won 200 races in his career. And... Uh, David Pearson of Spartanburg is second with 105. Jeff Gordon third with 93. So the King Richard Petty is the winningest NASCAR driver in history. That's why they call him the King. All right, we got a great show lined up today. So glad you're here. This is where it all happened. So stay with us. We'll be right back and we'll get the show rolling. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. It's always a pleasure to have Tommy on the show from Coastline Pet Supply. It's one of the largest pet stores in the area. Let's tell you, there's a lot of them now. But let me tell you, you get personal attention when you go in to see Tommy at Coastline. Take your pets in and, you know, he, he'll babysit the pets while you shop, right? Yeah. I mean, you just love your animals. We enjoy having our animals come in and visit us. Uh, matter of fact, we just got some new ones in today. Um, we've had somebody looking for a cobalt blue tarantula. <laughs> and it took, took me a year, but I found one. Really? So, so that came in today. We got some uh, red phase bearded dragons in today, some ball pythons. Um, we kind of got depleted around Christmas time, so we're trying to get stock back up again. Uh -huh. um, did have two dwarf bunnies born the day after Christmas. They should be ready around that first week of February. So if you're interested in a uh, uh, dwarf rabbit, give us a holler and... Um, We'll, uh, we'll get you fixed up. All right, now next time on the show, I want you to bring some kind of animal that we can show. Okay. Whatever you want to bring. All right, now what kind of deals we got going this week? I know you always got something going on. Um, 
the Natural Balance mm -hmm. treats are buy one get one for the entire month of uh, January. Right. Uh, they'll they come in two different sizes, uh, an eight ounce of fourteen, and they actually have a twenty eight ounce in one variety. Um, they're limited in ingredients, so if you have allergy issues, they're going to have like a venison and sweet potato, duck and potato, chicken sweet potato, venison potato, uh, bison and potato. And then you see those Taste of the Wild bags. Those are two new flavors that they have come out with. Taste of the Wild is a grain-free. It's one of our more popular foods. The one in the blue bag uh, is now is now a small breed, so they've actually come out with uh, with a smaller kibble and a different formula for your smaller breed dogs, which uh, well, you know we have a lot of around here. Well, back in the early days when I was in school, we had one type of dog food. It was in a can, mm -hmm. and it's changed so much now for dogs that's got allergies, everything that's wrong. What size dog? I mean, there's a food for it. Yeah, they they even got breed specific foods which I'm not sure I really buy that there's a difference between a Chihuahua's <laughs> food and a Toy Poodle's food and a Dachshund's food. Yeah maybe between a Mastiff and a, and a Chihuahua but not really but the, the way they do marketing now I mean they're gonna have dog food for female dogs, male dogs, food for the winter, <laughs> food for the summer. It's coming. It's coming. Alright Tommy thank you so much buddy. Coastline Pet Supply located right there at the back gate and there's all the cool stuff you can see. They've got all kind of items you need for your pets, too. So you got to go by and check out Coastline Pet Supply. And you can check them out online, coastlinepetsupply.com. Go see Tommy. Tell him you saw us talking about him. Thanks, Tom. Thank Appreciate you, it, sir. Buddy. All right, we got a lot more coming up. Stay right there. And welcome back. Now, that's what we're going to be talking about. You know, it's called All About Homes. It comes on Saturday mornings. And, and uh, Rob's here with us now. This is a little bit about remodeling, what to buy, when to do this. Is that what it's all about, Rob? It's All About Homes. That's it. I can that's take a my, I can take my mic off now and leave. You all sure? About Homes. <laughs> <laughs> all About Homes. It's, we're talking to basically contractors in the area. I'm introducing, uh, you know, homeowners to those folks here in town. Yeah. Uh, any business that has anything to do with homes is, is what we're going to be talking to. You know, we're roofers, uh, electricians, heat and air, anything, everything. So if somebody's coming up and they're thinking about they need a new roof, you're going to be showing them how to do it. We what are. We are. Air and conditioning uh, units or yeah. whatever. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like a dirty jobs kind of thing as well. Yeah. And uh, I used to call myself a jack of all trades, but I'm quickly learning that I'm not a jack of all <laughs> trades. Uh, it's, it's been pretty interesting. But, it, you know, it's all about really having a good time. We have fun in the show itself. And we're also teaming up with Habitat for Humanity as well. That's great. That's yes. great there. And what we're going to do is a lot of these businesses in town, they actually are partnered with Habitat, and folks don't realize that. So we want to introduce, you know, some of these great businesses, these local businesses that are doing a lot in the community. Such as with, um, you know, Habitat for Humanity. And at the end of the season, we're going to take these partners and we're actually going to construct a home. Wow. Yeah. That is pretty neat. It's going to be cool. That is pretty neat. Now, you know, uh, you got a show coming up this Saturday. This All right. Saturday, what are we we'll talking about this Saturday? This What's Saturday, about? we're going to be uh, talking about installing an AC unit, both the unit outside the condenser and the air handler inside with reliable electric. And let me tell you, it wasn't fun trying to get that air handler through the roof in a closet. It's tough. I know it. I it just is. had one replaced not too long ago. Well, thankfully, you know, we're introducing you to the pros who can do it for you, and that's the whole point of this. But unfortunately, I have to help out, and I'll stick to my day job. <laughs> I don't blame you now. Tell them where you're originally from, Rob. Originally from Florence, actually. Right. Now, yeah, you've been down to the beach now for how long? Since 2008. Since 2008, started doing real estate a few years ago. Uh -huh. So I'm actually a realtor, and actually our, our sponsor for the show is Plantation Realty Group, which is where my home away from home is. Right. Uh, we're over there at the corner of International and River Oaks, right beside the Baskin Robbins and Dunkin' Donuts. So you yeah. can't miss us, and that's you know. <laughs> You've been over there a, lot, a couple times, you know. I mean, <laughs> just get that smell, and but yeah, they're our lead sponsor, and so we're happy to partner with them, Habitat for Humanity, and all the other local businesses that are out there. So it's uh, it's really going to be a fun show. All right. Well, the good thing. About about it. It's local. It talks about all the local stuff in the area. Exactly. So that's the reason to watch. All right. Tell them what time it comes on Saturday. 10 o'clock right here on WPDE right after the local newscast. It's a perfect time. Get you motivated to get out there and do some work do in the yard work. or on the house or whatever else. And we also want to encourage people to go to allabouthomes.tv, the local businesses, and sign up to be on the show. How about that? All right. Thanks a lot, Rob. We Thanks appreciate sure. it. Appreciate it. All right. We got a lot more coming up. Stay with us. Don't forget All About Homes on Saturday morning. Check it out. 
And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we're talking about something now coming up, the Carolina African Amer American Heritage Foundation of Myrtle Beach. They're coming up with their 10th anniversary celebration, and it's called the Freedom Rally. That's what we're talking about. And Benny's here with me today to talk more about this, the Dr. Martin Luther King celebrations that's in the area. Absolutely. It's been a labor of love 10 years, but it hasn't been something we had to go along. You've had the city, you've had the Chamber of Commerce, you've had television stations, businesses, and communities working together all to create a more perfect society. People working together for change and powering people for change. Three days of celebration, jobs, business development, gospel explosion on Saturday, Sunday an ecumenical service. Sunday is one of the most segregated days in our society. But this time around, we're going to be bringing people together on Sunday at uh, Sandy Grove Baptist Church. And then on Monday morning, we're saying thank you to those folks that have worked for 10 years tirelessly to make this thing happen in a grand parade involving the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the National Guard, Color Guard. And you got horses and you got floats and you got good people working together for change. And I think that we're going to be one of the best in the country. But most of all, we're going to be one of the most successful in building quality race relations and community relations, helping people grow and be better at what they do. So folks interested in participating, engaging, coming to these events. Now see, when's, the, when's the parade? The when parade, parade is, is going to be Monday at kickoff. They're signing up at 1130 Where is that? on 24th Street North. In Myrtle Beach. Myr Myrtle Beach. Right. They're marching down Ocean Boulevard with the Army protecting them. The Navy <laughs> got their back and the Air Force is always in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is something, you know, when you talk about everybody working together and all these workshops that you have on, you know, that's what the country needs more of now. People got to work that's together. Nothing. Well, you know, when you pull together uh, the Chamber of Commerce, the uh, Human Resource Department of the city, and they gather partners from around the Grand Strand to say, listen, let's help folks get jobs, maintain jobs. If you don't have a resume, I'm going to develop one for you. The Army's going to say, listen, if you want to join us, I'm going to be here to recruit you. The police department is going to say, come on board, North Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach, the sheriff's department. They're going to be recruiting. And then if you want to go into business and be like Cecil when you grow up, <laughs> uh, amen, then we've got somebody to help you with business as well. All right. Now, this all right. Now, when they find out more about it, you can go to, let's see, C-A-A-H-F. Dot com. Carolina African American Heritage Foundation. That is it. Dot com. Dot org. If you go there, they'll get me. And when they call me at home. All right. Uh, give it to them quickly. 843-251-2061. God, right. is, God is in the blessing business. Come on out and be blessed and enjoy your King Day holiday with us. Thanks, man. Thank you and God, God bless God is you. great. You got it. All right. We got a lot more coming up. The Long Bay Symphony has something coming up. We're going to talk about that next. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. It's Thursday, and we're talking about something coming up. The Long Bay Symphony is always doing concerts. Let me tell you, great. And Charles Evan, the conductor, is with me right now. Charles, y'all got something coming up the 24th. We do. We have a, our next uh, subscription concert called Musical Exaltation, uh, which is a wonderful look at exalted states of consciousness in music. You know, everything from Dvorak's Carnival Overture in a Party Atmosphere to Debussy's uh, very sensuous Afternoon of a Fawn, and then even uh, a piece by Mendelssohn, who was uh, born Jewish and converted to Lutheranism. And this is an expression of his love of his new faith, the Reformation Symphony. So it's a whole wide array of things. And then the other two pieces I want to mention yeah. uh, involve the Carolina Master Chorale, with whom we partner frequently. So we have a Vaughn Williams uh, Serenade to Music, which is an excerpt from uh, Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. So mm -hmm. it's just a wonderful look at different states of exaltation in musical expression. All right, now people think when you come to the Long Bay Symphony, all you have to do is go out there and direct and do all this. You've got to <laughs> plan and put all this together, Charles. Well, you have to plan all the musical things, but it's bigger than that, as I yeah. think you're alluding to, is that we have a network of volunteers, we have a staff, we have all sorts of connections. It wouldn't be possible without all the connections we have. But in that light, I wanted to mention a couple of fundraisers we okay. have. Yeah. One of the big things we've got, and it's been successful with other orchestras throughout the country, is we have a Cadillac raffle. And you, you mentioned that you couldn't afford a Cadillac. Well, you, <laughs> you could get a Cadillac for $100. So wow. we're offering uh, $999, I believe, $100 uh, raffle tickets. 
Oh, and okay. the drawing will be on our during our March 19th concert. So you can buy one of these tickets uh, up through March 17th, I believe. Oh, well, that's pretty and good. And so for a hundred dollars, you got a chance at getting a brand new ATS to, uh, 2016 ATS Cadillac. The Cadillac dealership out of Pauley's Island. Right down in Pauley's Island. Yeah, down in yeah. Pauley's down there. So. And uh, that's pretty good, though. Yeah. I mean, you're always looking for volunteers and ways to raise money to keep, you know, it's a, it takes a lot of money to keep the, the Long Bay going. Yeah, and I think more importantly, or hand in hand with that, is just it takes a lot of awareness. Yeah. When people start to take ownership of the kind of community, I mean, this is really, you and I have both seen this community, you know, grow up. Really? And it, it's just matured quite a bit, so it's just wonderful to have that. And we have a lot of wonderful uh, guild volunteers, and I did want to mention that they do a lot of fundraisers during the year. So on Sunday, January 17th, they'll be doing a beauty, beauty by the sea, which is sort of a whimsical, it's a fun afternoon tea down in Polly's Plantation. Right. And they will be featuring a display and I think modeling of vintage bathing suits. Wow. It's just sort of an interesting twist on a, on a social event. So you always got to keep thinking to come up with different yeah, things. Yeah, the Guild and, and does all do. sorts of fundraisers. The board's putting things together. And I also want to mention a, a lot of the Guild's efforts are on behalf of the Youth Orchestra. Yeah, and the Youth Orchestra is doing their winter concert on Wednesday, February 17th. And we'll be featuring one of our alums who's gone on to a professional career, okay. Kevin Rogers. All right, well, we'll get back and maybe talk more about yeah, that. All right, this lots. concert's January, uh, Myrtle Beach High School on January 24th, At right? 4 o'clock, yes. 4 o'clock. Musical exultation. All right, I can't pronounce that. All right, Charles, <laughs> thanks a lot, my friend. Thank you. All right, we've had a great time today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to be on the show, contact us, and we'll let you know how you do it. Tell them bye, Charles. See you later. See you, See later. you tomorrow right here. It's Friday. Get ready for it.